I now want to prepare my model for design review. To make it easier to understand, I'm going to take the cross sections I created earlier and place them into a 3D model, so that in design review, I can see both the existing and the proposed cross sections. In evaluation, cross sections, create cross sections as a surface. I want the ones from the digital terrain to be placed in a model called DTM section and drawn with a style called DTM section. Apply and close. Now I'm going to display the terrain model cross sections in my model ready for review. And here you can see the cross sections spaced at 20 meter intervals. Then to complete my model for review, I want to add the DTM model as a translucent surface. Next I want to publish my model in an immutable format ready for review, and to do this I use an iModel. Publication for everyone and I can set an expiry date, say the end of January. OK. Overwrite the existing. And we're now writing out the I model, ready for review. I'm now ready to do my design review. And to do this, I'm going to use ProjectWise Navigator and I open up the iModel file that I have just created. First I'm going to use Project Explorer to hide the triangles and simplify the view. Next I'm going to create a new display style with the background set to black, as this makes it easier to see what is happening in my model during the design review process. I now want to do design review for the tunnel portals on the first tunnel in my design. To reduce the volume of data I'm handling, I'm going to create a clip volume around the tunnel and the surrounding area. And so that I can understand easily what is happening, I'm going to rotate the 3D model and zoom in a little bit to see the detail of how the tunnel sits in the terrain. I now want to add design review comments using the markup tool. At this location, I want to extend the tunnel by 40 meters, and I can assign the engineer and the status of the markup using these fields. Next, I insert the markup pin showing the area to which the markup applies, and a snapshot is taken to which I can then add the red line indicating the exact location for the markup. At the other end of the tunnel, what I want to do there is put in a retaining wall. I put in the markup pin, and then on the snapshot, add in the red line showing where the retaining wall is required. Continuing on with my design review, I can scroll through the model looking for problem areas. Here is a particularly short piece of tunnel only about 200 meters long, and I want to look at that in more detail. To reduce the volume of data I'm handling, I'm going to set a clip volume, and then rotate the 3D model so that I can better understand the relationship of the tunnel and the terrain. Now, looking at this in 3D, I can see that there's quite a distinct ridge here. So even if I did pull the alignment down the slope, it wouldn't significantly reduce the length of the tunnel. When I have completed my design review, I save my work as an overlay file. And that file contains the markers showing the positions of the markups plus the markup snapshots. The design review markups are then passed back to the design engineers to make those changes to the design. Now working as the design engineer in Bentley Railtrack, 
I need to open up the design review markups so that I can find out where I have to make changes to the design. To do this, I reference in the overlay file from the design review and I can see on the screen pin markers showing where I have design review comments and markups. Next I open up the Redline tool so that I can review the detail of each markup and make the changes to my design. To review the markups I switch to the overlay file using Exchange and here are each of the markups shown in the list. So let's go and look at markup number one. All I have to do is click on this pin and it automatically jumps to the markup snapshot with the red line on it showing me where I have to extend the tunnel. Switch back to review and then go back to my working model using exchange. To extend the tunnel all I would do is go back into Modeler and use Roadway Designer to modify the chainages for the start and end of the tunnel. And then to complete the process, I can go back to my design review comments and update the status field showing that I have made the changes required. And that completes the design review process.